Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. These past three days, a lot of things have happened. Story, stories have been coming on about this disbursement. There are two stories that we want to clear and say what is uh, uh, objectively true about those stories. The first one is about the story, the betrayer of Ken. The story was told that... Uh, the there was no grant ken said there was the uadg had money according to ken then all grand pressure group were working with ken to get the money then along the line they became curious they asking questions then they now find out that there was no money so they now went to they now stumbled on the document and uh, no name was attached they brought Ken into it to the picture, then Ken stabbed them at the back, went to go and meet those government people back. I see some kind of scenario and truth in that story. You know, I see some kind of truth in that story that Ken later met the government committee, which we know now then, then had meeting with them without the AGPGM people. To me, I don't know how true that story is, but it sounds as if something that can be true then coming to the story that uh, ken fixed the money in fix uh, put the money in the fixed deposit since december i don't think that is true now uh, i was i was believing it until some of our, our viewers you know came to start making some comments and we consulted some experts financial experts because it was said that ken fixed the money this money we are talking about is close to is more than 20 trillion so it's more than nigerian budget how can a single man put money that is more than nigerian budget in fixed deposit which bank will he put it which account will he put it it's only cbn that has the magna carta that has the pedigree to store that kind of money and you don't fix money in cbn cbn is not a commercial bank cbn is not a bank for 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 masses is a bank for bankers so those that have correspondence to cbn are bankers not the masses masses bank with the normal banks gt APS bank and the uh, women bank all those commercial banks we have access to it then the bankers have access to cbn so you cannot put money fixed deposit in cbn secondly let's assume they brought out the money how can you bring out money that is worth more than nigerian budget without raising eyebrow from the government and from cbn and put the money in commercial bank fixed deposit so that story doesn't add up that story doesn't add up so the the story goes on to say that ken was buying time so that the money will mature june july then he would disperse the story doesn't add up it doesn't really add up because we don't see why we don't see how he will put that money on fixed deposit government or efcc did not call him to clarify things you know because the money is really big it's really huge bigger than nigerian budget so that is that about the story that uh, is flying uh, uh, around still we're anticipating the 15th you know so that we will know what is happening then mrs balogu she's going on to petition ken to efcc and they are trying to stop her you know they are trying to stop her from petitioning ken to efcc you know because if ken goes down a lot of people are going down that that is why it's as if ken is being protected if ken goes down today agpgn are not spared German machine all stars that modern jennifer all the ceos ngos even some of the beneficiaries are not spared so that is why when one says about taking Ken down, they rally around Ken to protect Ken because once Ken goes down, a lot of people are going down with him. So that is the scenario of this grand community. The stories are not 
are not straight the stories are too you know everyday stories so but at the moment agpgn are working hard i'm not singing the praise of agpn why i'm not singing the praise of agpgn is because the time ken was deceiving the masses they know they know ken was deceiving the masses and they played along and they ate they ate this money from ken ken did not eat this money alone though ken ate huge share of this money can they not eat this money alone so guys this is the state of the update of what is happening in the grand community now so at the moment we are waiting and speaking on the 15th on the 15th a lot of things will unravel and uh, madame balogu also is going to petition ken and i believe and the widows the widows also are petitioning ken to efcc to make account now what they are petitioning him on they are petitioning him on two counts first if you have the money give us evidence that your name is in the in a, in the document if your name is in the document fine and good we wait patiently for the money to come then if your name is not in the document and you don't have grant to this boss you will pay back all the money people have given to you that's what they are telling that's the the the, the scenario of the petitioning so can we pay back the money they are people he has collected from people with interest you know the story looks as if uh, something that is in Hollywood story but you know you know how Nigerian works so let's wait uh, she's gathering now the women are gathering proof of payment POP and uh, they said it's only women's fight that men should not join the men that will join are like facilitators you know so they say it's women fight that they've left men to fight men couldn't fight then about chief okogu chief okogu too has been sidelined you know in my place he says that when an elder start wooing a small girl that is old enough to be his daughter or his grandchild he will receive all sorts of insults chief okogu has called his name to the mall because he received bribe you hardly see those in grand community that have their hands are clean they are few they are very much few so when the gun of war is shot everybody start running helter skater to protect the person that is going to be shot because once the person is shot all of them will exposed will get exposed so that is that any information any update that comes on we will give you updated why we have some confidence in hpgn is not because they are innocent it's because to a large extent they are somehow credible it's not that they are saints but they are a little they are the lesser evil now they are the lesser evil who can deal with so guys that's the update about for for these sentences that have transpired this weekend this weekend was very hot a lot of stories came up some credible some not credible see you on the next update bye for now